Okay guys, I'm back here at Sherman Williams and we need it all. We're ready to start the other side of the bus and by the time we finished that one side, um, we were out of everything. So um, I'm here to get primer, thinner, um, two gallons of our top coat of our electric lime and the hardener for that and we need blue tape so we need it all. Okay guys, it's a new day. Uh, re we recovered from getting the bus painted on this side, but we did make it. So we are ready to move forward today. So I'm gonna let, have Randy bring you up to speed. Okay guys, what went right, what went wrong? Well, first thing that went wrong was <laughs> we got some advice early on. Don't try to paint the whole thing at one time. Paint it in thirds or in fourths. And so we did that. That was a mistake for us, that didn't work. Because now we have a line going down there. We should have went the whole side. Uh, second thing that went wrong, instead of using masking paper or plastic, there was lots of lightweight corrugated cardboard. So we thought that's easy enough. So we masked off and we filled in the big areas with that. So we got that all done. And it was late in the afternoon and we wanted to shoot the paint but the weather went down and the wind came up and it started to sprinkle. So then luckily the guys at the shop, Chris and Joe, had the bay cleared and they said, you guys need to pull in for the night and reset. So we came back out in the morning, the sun was out, everything was looking good. We pulled the bus out, got a position to paint. As soon as we were ready, actually we were starting to paint. The cardboard, when it started getting warm, shrunk and curled and it started pulling all of our tape off so we kept pushing it back down and we struggled through the primer and that's why there's no video of this process because we were both kind of pissed off by the time we got through that so we got the primer coat on and we stepped back and said okay we need to reset here what's going wrong nothing's hurt so we uh, took all the cardboard off and went back and replaced it with some thin plastic sheeting, some like Bisqueen stuff that Joe had here. Got calmed down. Get your calm on when you get in a pickle. <laughs> so we got calmed down and then we painted again. So the way that we handled it and the way that we're gonna do it again today is, I mean, you wanna have a wet coat coming down. You know, you want it to all be wet at the same time. So but I can't get that. So what I did the next time is I came down to here. I brought the first coat down to here and we rolled down the whole side. We went right back to that end and went right back over it again with the second coat. And then we came down on the ground and we did from here down. So that went pretty smoothly. And so uh, I think some people might be wondering about the paint we're using too, so let's go show them that real quick. So Shelly just got back from the Sherwin Williams store, and this what we're using is called Shurkim. And the reason that we chose this paint is because it comes, you can get a hardener that's made for it, just like you can for the tractor, but these products are made, you know, they're made to go together and they have a, a primer so this is the primer that we put on like a year ago on the skin and on the inside of the bus so everywhere we primed with this it's all chemically right for this to bond to it they're all super compatible huh they're all engineered sherwin williams it's a great brand so it's a little spendy but another big reason that we went with this is you can choose your color so this is less expensive than automotive paint, more expensive than tractor supply paint. But the myriad of colors that you can get in this are awesome. And when I picked this color out, she told me, uh, we can't match that exactly. And I said, well, what do you mean? She said, well, the computer's telling me it'll be within 10%. So I'm like, I thought that was awesome. I mean, I grew up in a paint store. So I was like, you know exactly how far off you're going to be because of the base and the mix and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I've had uh, good, good uh, karma working with these guys. 
See, Kim, Carmen. Uh-huh, got it, got it. You're so clever. Well, Anyhow. I really love the color. The color is pretty true to the card. So. When we, it, yeah, it's not, we can't see the 10% variation, but anyhow. So let's get to masking and painting. Well, while you were gone, I got it all, I got most all of the flat areas sanded. And so then we're gonna go back and we're going to put on another coat of primer. After that coat of primer, um, we scuff with the uh, scotch Bright pads. So everywhere that's flat, we've been sanding with the uh, orbital sander. And these rub rails, we're just scuffing them like this with the scotch Bright pad. And wherever the orbital sander can't get. Yep. So we're going to stay calm today. <laughs> today is going to go smoothly. We got this, baby. We got it now. We got it. Yeah, baby, rub that bus. Scrub it, rub it, buff it. You are so bad. We've only got 38 more feet to go. <laughs> I will be I will be glad when this is over. This job has been one of the harder ones, and it should have been easy, but for some reason, it's been quite challenging for us. This is getting intense. We're getting close. I know, it's so exciting. Our last window to be taped. And then we just have to tape off the door and we are ready to get some primer on this baby. And then after primer comes color. Yes, yes. Well guys, check it out. Randy's putting the last little bit of primer on and we have got her completely primered on this side. Okay YouTube, we got all the primer on. Check it out. It's primered up all the way. Now we've let that flash off and dry. And now we go back with the Scotch Bright pads and scuff it all before we put the top coat on. So this is how we've been doing it. It seems to work pretty good. You're excited about cuffing the whole bus, right, Shelly? About, uh, yeah. I have rubbed this bus many places. <laughs> I think by the time we're done, we'll know every inch of this bus. Okay, guys, we have our first coat of green going on. It's looking amazing. So we're taking it down halfway just above that rub rail. So we have the second coat of green going in on the top. Just about down to the back door. So we're making good progress. Okay guys, just an update. Um, we just about got the first coat on the bottom half of the bus. And then Renny will go back and put the second coat, the second top coat on and we will have her done. Um, but I don't know about you guys, I just get tired watching him. It wears me out. <laughs> but he's a trooper. I mean, to have to paint this three times in, in one day is amazing. So we're about to get her done. Look at the glow in the back. What's up, YouTube? We did it. We're done. We got it all painted. It's a long day of spraying. Yeah. But it came out great. And all we have left is the front. So, yeah. Which is mostly windshield, so it'll go like a breeze. Except we have to work on the, some work on the header up at the top. But this came out great. We're so pleased. We're both a little tired, but um, let me show you what we've got. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got such a great coat on here. But, so we have this side completely done. The back was the first thing that we had painted. 
and we have got this side completely done so um, it's been a long few days but we are so pleased with the outcome so um, she looks kind of funny having her front not be fin so up there in the top where the lights are Rainy's gonna completely um, rebuild that and we're gonna lose all those lights so we're gonna rebuild that and then we will get the front painted and she will be finished to a point anyway so the plan is um, down the road to possibly accent her with um, another color or even maybe two colors but primarily we just wanted to get it all one color for now so um you know put in the comments what color do you think would go great with this electric lime we've got a couple colors in mind but we'd love to hear from you guys and see what your thoughts are so um we're gonna just end here on a high note and we will just catch you guys in the next one love to you all bye